Hello, uh, subscribers, Pastor David G. Grogan, Sr., uh, Senior Pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries, and I am the voice of Phoenix's Javelin. Um, I was on my way up the steps today, on my way up here to actually do uh, a video here at GRP Studios, and I heard Nancy Pelosi's voice, and I'm not going to, don't worry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to harp on her, hit on her, anything like that. But I heard the word impeachment coming out of her mouth. Uh, this whole thing, y'all, we, we're going to have to get a grip, uh, especially the uh, conservatives, uh, Republicans, but even more than that, the Christian conservatives, those of us that are of the household of faith. Okay, we got to get a grip. Um, this, I just, I was reading a very lengthy, lengthy article that my wife sent me. It's probably, some of y'all have probably read it. I, I, I venture to say it's some of the more, more, um, more informed, uh, conservative Christians have read this. It's from the National Review and the article's, uh, title is Trump should go, but making him go could make things worse. And without, I wouldn't dare try to read this article in its entirety with the time that I have left. But what I will say, some of the highlights of it, of course, um, we they want Donald Trump gone. Um, he's the problem for, for the riots. He incited the riots. Um, the uh, the people that did this, of course, they need to be brought to, to uh, justice for doing what they did. And I'll say something about that here shortly. Um, in the, the impeachment is coming up, you know, they talk about impeaching, they're talking about the article 25 and the 21st, you know, the different amendments that they have that where they could get rid of Donald Trump. They want him gone. Um, and like I said, last but not least was least is when I heard, um, a Nancy Pelosi talking about impeachment, which was something they tried to do before they're, they're trying to make Donald Trump sound like he's a, a, a raging lunatic, like he, um, he has not been at all good for the country, that his whole thought process is is crazy. And you know what? This stuff doesn't bother me, and I would hope that it doesn't bother, bother uh, Mr. Trump. The reason I say that, because this stuff has been going on for the four, uh, the four years that he has been there uh, as the president of the United States. This is what they've been doing, and now they see an ideal opportunity to really ram this thing home to really get this out there and make it seem like um Mr. Trump is is just terrible for this country has been is he's he's crazy you know what I'm like this y'all and I hope that those of you that are of the household of faith that you would consider your ways the way that I have to consider my ways um, I said I was going to say something else about the attack or the, um, the, uh, um, well, the attack on the White House, if that's what you want to call it, the Capitol. I truly believe that those that were, that did all the damage that actually went inside the Capitol are, were, 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 were um, um, Antifa, um, plants, uh, whether they were Antifa or Black Lives Matter, you know, you can buy the same clothes that the Patriots where you can buy the same clothes yourself and go in in disguise. You know, disguise is not something that's that's new. Um, 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 you know, subverting is not something that's new. These things have been around forever. You know, so I I I truly believe that those that really did the damage that really caused that war, they wore um, antifa implants. They were those that already that they hate the Trumps themselves. And what better way to make him look bad? But is to put yourself in the midst of all these patriots that that are that want our country to be what it's supposed to be, and then when this I, at the ideal time caused this great uproar, this great upheaval that that caused the the loss of life um, to the police officer, you know, to the uh, the uh, young woman that was shot, um, and then of course those other. Uh, three that pa that died based uh, due to other physical ailments is what the report says. But what they're going to do is, of course, if you read this long report, and I'm going to give it to you, let me put my glasses on so I can make it. So those of you that really, really want to read this article, because it's really lengthy, once again, it's, it's, out, it's out of the National Review, dated January the 7th, 2021, uh, came out at 7 p.m. It's by Dan McLaughlin. 
and the once again the uh title of the of the uh article is Trump should go but making him go could make things worse so um you know y'all this is a terrible time that we're in and I thank God that um that with all this is done now this is the one thing that is done for me um because I know what the word of God says about sin I know what the word of God says about lying and deceit and what the word of God says about thievery and all the things that it tells us not to do. But I think what I found as a 61 year old um, um, man in this country uh, is that the political processes that have taken place, what has taken place over the last um, 12 years has caused me to really appreciate the fact that I have not put my stock in mankind. I have not put my trust totally in mankind. And now I don't put I won't put my trust in the up and coming administration. I'm not going to put my trust in anything that they say. You know, um I'm only going to watch what they do. That old saying that actions speak louder than words is going to be how I uh, measure the incoming administration. I know that they cannot heal the soul of the nation. The soul of the nation is sick and wounded and injured and perplexed and in despair because of the sin of humanity because we're living in a fallen world. So I myself, after what I've seen take place, will no longer trust the um, electoral process. I don't know if when this um, four years is over, if I'll vote again. And I know that people died for me to vote, but they died not for me just to vote, but they died for me to vote and my vote be counted and my vote to be counted right. They died so that those that don't, that are not a part of this nation um, can vote. They died so that, you know, um, if you're already dead, you can't vote. Those that died and went on before me to make sure that the electoral process is properly done, I'm not gonna let their death be in vain. Um, so whether I vote or not is not, this is just a personal uh, thought process, thought for me, whether I will ever vote again based on what I've seen take place. Um, because it seems like if a good man that wasn't Donald Trump, if he didn't have the stigma of his name and his, you know, when he was doing, um, the show that he did, everybody loved him. But as soon as he decided he was going to become the president of the United States, then everybody hated him. And so if, if, a, if, a, if another man were to come and it, he didn't have the stigma of the Trump name or Donald Trump, you know, family. And it was a good man, a man that proclaimed his belief in God and that said what he was going to do and the liberal party and he and what he said he was going to do was against everything that the liberal party stood for he was if he were to come and he would be against abortion he would be against um homosexuality he would be uh, against uh racism he would be against uh things being taught to our kids in school uh he would be uh pro christianity pro christian if another good man were to come and his name wasn't Trump, I don't trust that the liberal party, I don't trust that the Democratic Party would not do the same thing they did this time, the next time. Because I believe at the end that once this is all over, y'all, I believe that people are going to be so fed up with what's going to take place in the next four years that they're going to be crying out for somebody to come and get things back to where they were today without the hatred of Donald J. Trump. You know, they, I believe that people are going to want the, the, the nation to, to be able to move forward the way that it was moving forward. 
as a real leader, as a sovereign nation, as a sovereign uh, a nation amongst all continents. I really believe that's going to happen. Um, because just of what I've seen and how things were how things were moving, and once Trump is gone, then there's not going to be any excuse for the Liberal Party to have any type of angst against any good man that would come in and determine that he wants to take the country in the same direction that Trump was taking the country, as far as jobs, as far as you know, uh, the military. You know, as far as uh, blacks being let out of prison and the regulations that are keeping them in being changed because Donald J. Trump did all that. But because of the hatred that people have had for him, now they are attacking him and they're going to continue to attack him until he's gone out of the White House. And then uh, Mr. Biden and Mrs. Harris are going to take over. And then they're going to be the ones that all their promises that they made. I'm going to do everything I can to hold them to the fire. I'm not going to let people forget what they promised. I'm going to be digging as much as I possibly can once again. And if, if, if YouTube or I'm not, I've just about, as far as Twitter's concerned, Twitter is of no um, consequence with me. Uh, but whatever way I have, am able to get the word out to remind people the promises that were made by the Liberal Party, I'm going to do it. Got one scripture for the body of Christ. Once again, because if you're not saved, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you don't believe in God as the sovereign ruler of the universe, then this, these particular scriptures won't mean anything to you. But for those of you that are saved and you are disappointed and you are, um, you're, you are maybe perplexed and, and unbelieving about what has taken place, because, listen to me, Satan is the master liar. He's the master deceiver. He's the one that has the ability to trick all humans. Seven point something billion people on the face of this earth right now. And Satan, can he, will, he will fool each and every one of us if we don't have Christ. Because with salvation comes the Holy Spirit the spirit of the living God that abides in a man and a woman that gives us understanding about what life is really about. These politicians, conservative, uh, um, liberal, Democrat, Republic, black, white, brown. It doesn't make a difference y'all because these are mere men. These are mere men. And if these mere men are not saved and sanctified, which means they're, if they're not saved and set apart for God's use, then they are of no consequence when it comes down to what's happening on this earth. The only thing that they can do that would help us all is that they would become saved, truly saved. Not just lip service, not trying to go on national TV and, 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 and speak of each other as being a, a good spiritual people or, or, or good faith or, or people of faith. No, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will not have the ability to lead the way you're supposed to lead because the Holy Spirit, he will not abide in you. God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. So with all this that's taken place for the body of Christ, because once again, those of you that are not saved, this, this means nothing to you. But for those of you that are in the body of Christ, listen to these words out of the book of Psalm. Psalm, the 118th chapter, verses 8 and verses 9. Two short verses that Christians, you need to live by from this day forward. And even before this, you should have been living by this. But especially now, after all this has taken place, and I know there are a lot of people out there that are vexed. There are a lot of you out there that are so vexed in your spirit right now that you just cannot believe what has taken place. But listen to me. And then you have those Christians that are really, really happy about what has taken place. They're glad that this is over. They're glad that uh, Mr. Biden and, 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 and Ms. Harris will be the, the incoming um, uh, president and and uh, vice president, in spite of the fact that these are abortion activists, 
um, pro LGBT. They're they're they are um, deceivers, but there are body, those in the body of Christ that still are happy about this thing taking place the way it has. That's why Jesus Christ said in Matthew the seventh chapter, verse twenty one, that not everyone that saith Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, except for those that do the will of the Father who is in heaven. So where's your faith lie? Who are you following? Well, Psalm 118, verse 8 and verse number 9, it reads, this is the King James Version. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Listen to me. Mankind, mankind's leaders, presidents, potentates, kings, Popes, rulers of all um, classes around this globe and the different continents and the different customs and cultures. It's better for you to trust in Jesus Christ. It's better for you to trust in God than to trust in all these men. I'm almost done. I left the scripture for the end because I want you to understand something. Donald Trump is, is done. They're going to make sure he's done. They're going to make him go out looking as bad as they possibly can make him look. They're going to talk about him. They're going to um, deride, de deride him. They're going to do everything that they can to make him look like he's crazy. And for those of you that will believe it, that's up to you to believe what you want to believe. I'm going to pray for Donald J. Trump. I'm going to pray for his family. I'm going to pray for all those that were in his, uh, in his administration. I'm going to pray for the incoming administration that these people will all be saved and that they will all give their lives to Christ because if they don't, and for those of you that are in the household of faith, for those of you that are not saved, you watch and wait and see what's going to take place. Oh my goodness. He looks up. I'm not a prophet. I just know based on reason and based on what the Bible says about the heart of man, Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, verse Number nine and verse number 10, for the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, know the heart. And I try the reins of the heart to repay every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. The heart of humanity is wicked and dark without Jesus the Christ. And we are living in a time, this time where you're going to be seeing things happen like you never thought would happen because of the wickedness of man's heart, the rebellion against God. So this article, read this article at length. Those of you that get an opportunity to, it'll tell you, you'll get an understanding why I'm saying, uh, why I'm saying that they're going to try to make uh, Mr. Trump, you know, uh, the butt of all the jokes, you know, he'll be hated. He'll be, you know, uh, cursed about. He'll be made to be the worst president that ever lived and all the things. And of course, the liberal party, those of you that hear this, you'll go, oh yeah, but he is, he is, but that's all right. You know what, this is to me, this is what the God has, God has shown me. What people think about me, if I do right by God, if I walk right by God, what people say and think about me, I take my example from Jesus because when he walked, People hated him. The Pharisees and Sadducees hated him. And they wanted him dead. I'm not Jesus. Donald Trump is not Jesus. You're not Jesus. Jesus sits on the right hand of the throne of God, making intercession for all of humanity. But for those of us who believe on Jesus Christ and him crucified to the saving of our souls, we'll be hated. Jesus said we would be persecuted for righteousness sake. But that's all right. Because if I die here, I'm going home to be with the Lord for an eternity. With that said, church, don't be moved. It's better to trust in God than to trust in man. It's better to trust in God than to trust in prince, princes. So put your trust in God and not in man and in leaders. Because leaders can't save you, but Jesus Christ can. God bless you. I love you. Till I come back together the next time, if you like what you hear, subscribe to my channel, uh, Pastor David uh, Grogan Sr., ring the bell. When you ring the bell, you'll be notified of my up and coming videos or my videos when they come out, rather. Hope to see you. Need, uh, need as many subscribers 
as I can, because when you get this, I want you to pass this on to your friends. You know, those that will listen, pass it on um, so we can work because there's a lot of work that's going to come that we have to really bear down and trust God to deliver our nation and to deliver the body of Christ because these people are going to come after the body of Christ. I guarantee. All right. Take care and farewell.